Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Dewey. And I'm uh, Steve-O. And we, uh, we uh, got a nomad. Yeah, we... Uh, what was that? You just went like... It's ha- <laughs> we uh, got the nomad. We, uh, we uh, got a uh, nomad. Who is uh, not here. Nomad. Nomad. But we do have a suitable replacement for Matthew today. Uh, we have a very special guest on, in studio with us today. Mark, everybody say hi to everybody. How's it going, everybody? Hey. I'm not Matt. I'm you are Mark. Not no, but he's got that same kind of... You do of have a little bit of the Matt voice, though. Deep do I? Yeah. Just a little bit. Rolls right off the tongue. Am I better looking than Matt? I don't know. Well, actually, I'm Matt- a girl. Come on, you guys. Tell me I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty, right? I don't know. Matthew gets told he looks like Dre, so. D- Dr. Dre? No, no. Drake. Drake. There we go, Drake. Drake. I don't know my rapper. Well, looks, I mean, he's he still a rapper, so yeah. okay. I once had a girl told me that I look like Drake, so you never know. <laughs> There you go. Stephanie Strange from the did, Lighthouse Bar. Okay. Did, did that girl actually know who Drake was? Uh, I, <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> she did fuck a lot of black guys, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say, yeah. She, goes, knew, she knew her rappers. There goes my follow-up question going, <laughs> is she hot and single? But apparently I don't fit the black guy profile. So we'll Hey, you never know, man. <laughs> you never know. You never Are know. you a chubby white girl? No, I'm not a chubby then you, white girl. Then you don't fit the black guy profile either, so you're good to go. <laughs> you do look more like a chubby white girl than you do a black guy. Ouch. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, you crazy. You should do me. <laughs> I'm Tracy Morgan. See, Matthew is in here, so now I can do all those. There you, oh, yeah. He, he hits you Tracy for some reason. Tracy just, Morgan early in the podcast. That's a good sign. That was <laughs> a good sign. I, ju- I can't walk anymore. I just live up here now. <laughs> what, too soon? <laughs> hey, at least I'm not raping how'd you, bitches. How'd you get up the steps? That's what I want to know. I don't even know. <laughs> Bill Cosby slipped me something and now I'm here. It's crazy. Oh, that Cosby. <laughs> what a guy. Uh, crazy. Crazy guy. So, uh, so Mark, you do a podcast <laughs> of your own. The good segment. Yeah, like that. I was just segue. like, mm, we're not talking we're about Tracy that. Morgan, Bill Cosby. To, you got a podcast. I do. It's called Talk Ramen, you guys. <laughs> Awesome. It's uh, Phoenix's top podcast. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. I did not know that. But well, I, uh, either are most of people in Phoenix because <laughs> <laughs> we need a following. I, yes. I want to know. I want to know. Where'd you come up with the name? Okay. Well, uh, th- we even have a little teaser online. You can, you can, you guys, you little fans of the show can go look up on YouTube. Oh, talk sweet. around a teaser. They kind of talk about it a little bit, but uh, basically, I don't know. Like me and the three guys I do with Aaron, Kyle, Miles, Greg Snide, hilarious comedians in the Phoenix comedy scene. We, we started a podcast, right? Yeah. And we got all the gear, and we got in a room, and I basically had a list of names that I brought to the table. Nobody brought anything to the table. Uh, <laughs> well, okay, and it was Ryan Thorson at the time. Not like it's important to the story, but he started. Okay, but I had a bunch of names, like, I don't know, I had the dumbest names ever, like, <laughs> humans talking, or like... <laughs> We'll all be dead soon. Podcast, like really <laughs> oh, dark, man. weird shit. I like, I that, like that one. one. Can we it's take bad. that? But uh, and then like at the fucking Dips. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you guys can have it. We I got like fifty of them. <laughs> but then like at the end, then Greg Sny just goes, "Hey guys, what about uh, what about talk ramen?" And then it just clicked in everyone's head. I'm just oh, like, nice. go fuck yourself, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you and the no names. Oh, good. Not even. So you just want to you. you 
look at me just like, have you just been sitting on that it's, forever? It's yeah, like perfect. Right. And he <laughs> waited for me to go through the whole list of names. Yeah. And then he was like, go fuck yourself. Here's Todd Ramen. <laughs> knowing, him, knowing him, he's probably sitting there going like, man, I'm hungry. I think all I got is ramen at home though. Man, Mark's talking a lot. Wait a minute. <laughs> Are you inside Greg's head? You seem to know Greg's not a little bit too much oh, right wow, now. Okay. That, that pretty much embodies probably his thoughts when he's talking to me. But uh, yeah, like... That's pretty much his effort. You know, I come up with all the ideas, and then he just comes to the show and just fucking kills it, and I'm just <laughs> sitting there like, oh, God, I wish I was that talented. Oh, that's awesome. But yeah, we're a little podcast, about 32 episodes deep. Nice. Um, we've had, like, big-name comedians on stuff. We've had, like, Matt Bronger, Adam Ray, uh, Steve... I forgot his name right now. I'm two beers deep, you guys. <laughs> two beers deep, but... uh yeah, it's going well until this morning when I woke up and I went down to my car and I never park in, outside the gated parking at my place. And I go down and I open the door and I was like, well, you know, shit seems kind of weird right now. I even opened up the Get center weird console. Vibe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, weird vibe. Uh, and I opened up the console. Oh, that's weird. My GPS isn't in the car. Okay. Uh, so I <laughs> pop up the trunk and what? Oh, all my podcast gear is gone, you guys. Damn. That sucks. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not too angry about it. I imagine just a homeless person took it. But uh, I kind of just thought to so myself. So what you need to do is be following iTunes and look for any new homeless podcasts that pop up. No, you know what's going to happen? you'll be is, like, hey. You know what's going to happen? The show is going to pop up. Of, we'll all be dead soon. <laughs> oh, God. It's going to be the hobo guy. Like, just wait a minute. Here. We'll all be like, homeless soon hey. podcast. Hey. Sorry. Presented by the Four Eyed Radio Network. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Eric. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. You son of a bitch. Hey, look. Money hey, came away. We didn't he ask questions. Good premise. He had a great name for the show. Uh, I, I couldn't turn him away. Talk away. Homeless. Yeah, talk <laughs> it's homeless. gonna be Talk Ramen because that's probably all they eat too. Yeah. But uh, I can't afford that shit. That's top shelf. <laughs> yeah. No, I get the Master <laughs> Shuri and whatever shit. It's like, like six for a dollar. Shelf ramen. Top Ramen is like four for a dollar. That's expensive, man. Uh, it's, Fuck that. it's bullshit. <laughs> I don't know. I remember so when it used to be like ten for a dollar. Ugh. Oh man! I mean, has the price changed that much? It's like a dollar, it one for a dollar now. I don't even. know. Oh god, I hope Buy not. In bulk. That's like fucking. Damn, a dollar each. Yeah. Fucking end of the world. end times right there. Sign of the apocalypse if ramen costs a dollar a pack. <laughs> My girlfriend ate ramen for a week because she's poor, but I'm not. But yet there's this weird thing where it's like, I don't want to take money from you. So she ate ramen for a week. And I think her all just all her bodily functions just stopped. Oh, really? Well, that there's week. like zero nutrition in ramen. Like it'll fill you up because it's pasta. So like you eat it and you're like, oh, I feel full. It's pasta in quotation it's, marks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's pasta. It's, it's wheat starch in the shape of noodles. And... Sodium. Lots and lots and lots of sodium. And not just regular sodium either. It's got the monosodium glutamate in it, which is what t- makes it taste so fucking good. Oh, man. Whoa, that MSG this podcast is, so delicious. is way smarter than my podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, man, I love MSG. I love food. me some MSG. We just threw out a, uh, an delicious. amino acid, a glutamate. <laughs> That's impressive. I know. Eric has the periodic table, you know, just handy every time. I'm just like, just in case. Oh, wait a minute. You guys are talking about iridium, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you some facts about iridium that you may not know. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but if you want to know, hit me up later on Twitter. It's like, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to leave the network now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'd, I'd have nothing to bring. I got glutamate, but that's about it. I know. <laughs> I know lysine. There you I go. Know. I, know. I know lysine, too, from uh, Jurassic Park. Cause they, the dinosaurs had a lysine deficiency. What? Yeah, that's how they were. Was it that the was new, the, was it the new was Jurassic the Park? No, no, I'm talking about the original, old school. Can we talk about how? I mean, what do you? What do you? <laughs> I don't even know where to take the new Jurassic Park. I mean, it was cool. It satisfied me to some level, but kind of i don't know. I was like just picking at the whole like plot. Like you know, this shouldn't have really happened. Well, nothing well, should really <laughs> happen technically. Uh, <laughs> the second oh, you see the guy show up in the old Jurassic Park shirt, you're like. Shit's going to go very, very wrong this day. <laughs> Obviously. He's wearing the shirt. That No good can come of this. Well, you know how knew um, things were going to go wrong? Because I was in a movie. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, because there's a bunch of dinosaurs. I was about to say, first off, do you, really, never goes do you well. think you really would have watched the movie if everything went perfectly in the movie? Shit, that didn't even go well in The Land Before Time. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking kid's cartoon. That's true. That shit like, still went down. <laughs> you're leaving the theater like, wow, that part's really going to be profitable. <laughs> yeah, wow. 
I'm going to buy stock. Can I buy stock? On the bright side, they don't have to give like any refunds because like everybody's dead, right? Yeah. So <laughs> it's a gory movie. It's uh, it's I I loved it. It was not as good as the original, but it was way better than the two pieces of shit they put out as sequels to the original. Okay. So, well, all right, all right. Um, my haven't seen the problem, second one in a while. It's I the third one. I was like, all right, all right. the third one. Like had some good strong movement. It was going. It was a good action flick that just happened to have dinosaurs, and I was okay with that. You know, like it was oh, okay. That's fine. We're, we're done with the whole dinosaur plot thing. So just show me some good action that happens to feature dinosaurs. I'm okay with that. Except it got to what I would consider about the halfway point of the movie, and then just ended. Like they ran out of money, and they're just like, uh, oh crap. Okay, um, <laughs> they're on the beach and they're safe. Bye, everybody. Yeah, it was like, kind of a, yeah, the it was kind of like, it was like okay, where's the raptor confrontation? <clears throat> oh, they gave the eggs back. Some shit's gonna go down. They're not gonna get off scot free. It was like ran to the beach, and then it's like the military's there. It's like, hey, the end of the movie, and we're like, wait, <laughs> you're like, you're like looking at your watch, going like, uh, I've been yeah, here for thirty five <laughs> minutes. What the fuck? The guys, like, I don't know. Steven Spielberg pulled out at that point. He was like, I'm not even producing this. I'm done. <laughs> that just felt st- like they ran out of money, yeah. and they're just like, uh, okay, let's 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 cut what we've got and put it out. Yeah, put at, it out. That, at that point in the movie, that's when he got a thought. And he's like, oh fuck, I'm gonna make a movie about Lincoln. Fuck this shit. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna write it. <laughs> yeah, really. Spielberg's all like, that's where the money's at, Lincoln. <laughs> Lincoln. Hey, everybody loves Lincoln. All I was doing was playing with some Lincoln logs and just came. To have you guys seen that movie? Lincoln, no. I want I wanted to see that movie, but uh, I was at Zia Records because I'm poor. So uh, even though I just stated I have money and my girlfriend doesn't, <laughs> I, I have. Some you're poor. Money. You're just a little less poor than her. But I still go to Zia Records. I'm 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 poor enough to the point. That's where right. We love Zia. I Zia's... go and actually buy the movies. Yeah. And, like I I still like do that. And oh, I, so you got more money than me. I mean, <laughs> You know, the first day of payday, I might. I'm all movie, huh? Hold on a second. <laughs> it's like Lincoln. Hey, look, I guess I can watch John. that. <laughs> I wanted to watch Lincoln. I go, I'm like. Cam, <laughs> no, Cam, no. TS, oh, maybe. Oh, 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 HD rip. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could. I don't even have Wi Fi. So there's my situation. Oh, wow. I tried doing Lincoln, though. I went to the shelf and I, uh, I pulled it out. And I was like, hey, babe. Let's, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's get Lincoln tonight. <laughs> and she's just like. Now, nah, how about Matchstick Man? And I'm just like, you just blew aside Lincoln. Oh. You just blew aside Steven Spielberg's two year creation for at least the Matchstick Man's a great. Yeah, I was about to movie. say. I mean, at, it's a great fucking movie. The polls, that's not but a bad it fucking film. Steven Spielberg says one. make something. Yeah, you, you should you, fucking pay attention. Kind of, yeah, yeah, you have to. We'll have to have a have a fern viewing party of Lincoln at some point. Bring everybody over. Has yeah, nobody ever seen Lincoln. Lincoln still? I've not I seen haven't. Lincoln, no. <laughs> I've seen, was it Lincoln Vampire Hunter? That was about it. I read that book. I haven't watched the movie. <laughs> Lincoln Vampire yeah, Hunter? Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. The book oh. was amazing. The book was funny. Wasn't there two of them? There was, there was two. There was Pride, Prejudice, and, Va- and Zombies. Which is coming out, I think, next year. The, the book's been out. The, book the book's out, been out, but they're making like a movie. And I, I thought about reading it, but then I'm like, I've never fucking read Pride and Prejudice, and I'm not <sighs> fucking going to either. So... I think a lot of the the references are going to be lost on me, so this is going to be... Yeah, it was really, I'll put it this way. It's really because uh, uh, my old roommate, she tried to make me... She put it on and be like, oh, I love these kind of movies. I'm like, fuck this, I'm playing Halo. No. I'm like, I can't... That was, that was a comic book, right? Pride Which and one? Prejudice? Yeah. Uh, pff, Graphic so. novel? Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> it was a good one. Okay. <laughs> Stanley creation. Yeah, especially, yeah. yeah, Stanley had a cameo in it. Hey, spider friends, give me more of your money. <laughs> It's like what? It's it's like why is Stan Lee here? He's not even dressed like in the time period. He's just literally in jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah, he's just there. Did, he's just like <laughs> he's just Stanley, bitch. he just swings by like a, come on, spider friends. <laughs> Pride like, and prejudice is this. <laughs> yeah, they're like wait, that's that's not well, he's, costume he's, at all. <laughs> then basically, then he's just like watch Thor. <laughs> but it's all right. It, it's all right. Was it's this an advertisement Thor. for Thor? What? This. So I didn't even know this was a Marvel flick, but yeah. all right. I guess they got their hands in everything. Disney <laughs> yeah, yeah, owns fucking yeah, yeah. everything yeah, Disney now. Disney owns fucking everything, pretty much. You guys see Ant-Man? Yes. He has. I have not had a chance yet. All right. Well, uh... I know. I'm, I'm so behind I the was, times. Well, I mean, I don't think that's considered behind the times, really. It's Paul Rudd for being me, a superhero. For me, I it is, because normally a Marvel time. movie hits, I'm like there. Like, that's the only thing I get out to the theater for. I used to go to the theater all the time. Lately, I saw... What did I see in the theater? I saw Guardians of the Galaxy... Avengers twice, and then um, the first one. <laughs> Aven- no, Age of Ultron. I saw the first one several times as well. But Age of Ultron, and then uh, fucking what was that? Dress World. Dress World was That's, your last one. That was the most recent one that I've seen in the theater. So I don't get out much. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna fault you there. I, I saw 
Transformers on Netflix. Oh. And uh, well, I just watched the first ten minutes, but with, uh, Mike, with Mark Wahlberg. That with one? Mark Wahlberg, but I was like, hey, I'm glad I'm watching I think this on Netflix. I think, Netflix. We found a, I think we found a Transformer. Transformer. <laughs> hey, what's hey, Transformer? What? Say hello hey, Transformer. to your mother. <laughs> what? No, no. What? No. Optimus Prime. What? Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> was it a ter- as terrible it's a as fucking? Should I continue the watch? I'll it? put it this way: if you're going to watch it, you watch it with people who are going to rip the fuck out of it. My brother and I did that in the theater, and that's the only way it was enjoyable. It literally ends, and he does like he just like I have to go, and he just like flies up the space. And Kyle and I, my brother and I, look at each other like, wait a minute, you could fly this entire <laughs> fucking time, and you choose to use it now. Oh, fuck you, Optimus. Like, oh, I thought we were talking about Mark Wahlberg. I was like, I got to see this shit. <laughs> that would Mark be Wahlberg better. Did. Fly? Hey, what? Whoa, I'm fly. I'm going to fucking heaven. <laughs> this flies up. Say hi to your motherfucker. <laughs> really? <laughs> like, he goes into space. <laughs> He's like, he didn't even put a suit on. And he just seemed like... You're like, I don't know. Yeah, like, am I more impressed that he can fly or that he can survive the vacuum of space <laughs> without a suit? Optimus Prime is like... It's pretty fucking cold out there. What? I know that, right? Sandwich Wiki, what the fuck was that? <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. I was like, "This is almost like I feel like a Michael Bay parody." Like I feel like <laughs> it I really feel yeah. like this is somebody who like they got knows some Michael some guy Bay. like right out of film school. They're like, "Okay, here's the thing: we're going to give you a blockbuster movie, but you have to do it. We have to make you in have the to be style like, yeah. of Michael." It's, so it's, it's it's Michael Bay karaoke, pretty much. There yeah. you go. I mean, it just starts in and there's the like a car of... driving with like during like sunset with that like and then the music playing and then there's a lot of really hot girls and I was just yeah. and like funny parts if you will it's yeah. serious but it's not serious like yeah i, I don't like, know have you bullshit. seen kung fury yet is that a, is that a no <laughs> it's on youtube <laughs> it's you on, can watch it it's, it's on free. youtube it's it's a half hour feature film it's um absolutely hilarious in its awfulness <laughs> and it, but it's so obviously awful it's supposed that to it's be great. like that yeah yeah, yeah. it's it's like basically like a bad invest, invest 80s the thirty film. minutes, watch it. It's fucking fantastic. Somebody, I, I, I'm a young person. I'm I'm 24. I don't know. Oh shit! I don't oh, know. Baby. I, yeah, oh. I don't know. I never watched John Claude Van here. Damme movies, but somebody popped one on, and I was Which just one? like, "Which one? Is it Bloodsport? Oh, okay, that, that was one of the good ones." <laughs> Exactly. Okay, so that's one of the good ones. Apparently, uh, I best just watched. I was just like, three "You oh. is probably my absolute favorite." What is best of the best three? Oh, okay. It was fucking good. Did you see that oh, one man. in theaters? No. No. He's like, I saw I'm not that TV. fucking old. <laughs> Anyways. We, we actually do give him shit for that. Like, I waited for actually, Netflix. wait a minute. Was that, that the one that I did see in theaters? Hold on a second. I, now I'm going to have to look it up because that might be the one that I did see in theaters. When I was a kid, at least, I was young. I think it was playing in the same movie theater. I watched Three Ninjas. I, know, like, I still had a beard, in. but I was young. Yeah, yeah. Eric, I didn't think they had movies in like the 1800s. Yeah, we had the talkies, you know? No. <laughs> Charlie Chaplin was dancing around being all silent and funny. And then he flew up into space. <laughs> and, then you, and then he just flew into space. And we're like, fuck you, Charlie. Yeah. I bet you can talk, too. Yeah. <laughs> what other secrets are you hiding from yeah, us? What the fuck else are you You're hiding from us son of a now? bitch. Oh, uh, man. Grandpa's drunk and yelling no, at the No, but TV the absolute again. best Van Damme flick has got to be Time Cop. Time Cop. Time yeah, Cop. Time Cop. Fuck, yeah. God, that scene in the mall when he like, has to be. boom. Like that guy's skating through the mall stealing purses and he's like, Psh! puts his foot up it's like boom right in that kid's face and he's like read it and the kid's all like wolverine product placement nice right <laughs> and then he's like no between the lines <laughs> i was like yes this Fuck is yeah. awesome and the kid's like we should get the fuck out of here <laughs> i was like yeah like i want to start a podcast one day and i want to talk this movie up <laughs> You have so no much. clue. <laughs> Let me go watch it going like, it doesn't hold up. I heard Eric, Eric, we should just have oh, no, Eric I, I watched that the recently. Movie to us. I watched that recently. Do you guys know oh, Therese? Did they not have, maybe it was two. No, no who? Maybe it was Best two. of the Best two, not Best of the Best three. She's this female comic. She does like some, she just, she is, does some is movies. Is Van Damme even oh, yeah. in this movie? She was in some Van Damme movies. Oh, really? Oh, man, what the yeah. hell have I been smoking? <laughs> I don't, Never mind, that's not even a Van Damme movie. Fuck. Toy Story. Best? He wasn't in that shit. <laughs> yeah, Toy Story. <laughs> Woody, we got it. Read between the lines, Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think he was the dinosaur. Oh, he's the di- Rex. <laughs> yeah. No. Was, maybe I'm, I don't know what the hell I'm thinking of, but it wasn't Best of the Best because the Best of the Best series is an Eric Roberts thing. That's, That's probably Steven Seagal. You don't really think like. of him as an action star, but man, those ones were pretty good. Yeah. So, it's like uh, the new, was it Rocky movie, not Rocky movie with Clever Lang's son or something like that? I don't fucking know if I know. The last Rocky movie? Yeah, it's like a new one coming out or whatnot, but it's like him training his 
Clever Lang's kid or something like that. I don't know. I'm just like, are you guys just really desperate for money? The one that didn't come out? or I think it's just a hobby at that point. It's like, instead of like, I'm going to build like like little antique planes, I'm just going to make another Rocky movie. Yeah, that's like what he like, does. It doesn't matter. Well, he's, making, he's making another, uh, what is it, uh, Rambo too. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think that one's when he finally breaks out of like the you know the old folks home or whatnot. He's like, I gotta get my meds, you know. Crazy. <laughs> but yeah, fuck all these Asian people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's too many Asians. Yeah. She doesn't exist yeah, anymore. Like, she's that's, dead. She's gone. It's a different movie, Rambo. Uh, yeah, I was in Expendable. Okay, now you're just putting things together. Uh, I, I should have been in Marky Mark's movie, you know, with Transformers, where he flew up into space. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Double Impact. I forgot about that one. Double Impact. That was with Jean-Claude Van Damme uh, and... <laughs> yeah. In a, in a Dennis Rambo was in a couple of movies, actually. He was like supposed to be a serious action star in this one. It was, it was really bad. Not so serious. It was Kim Jong Un's favorite yeah. movie. Yeah, probably. I want you over here now. I don't even know why that's his voice. <laughs> I want. I want you over, over here, here now, now with the deep dish Maybe sliced pizza. <laughs> I've got it's all of these. Brooklyn. <laughs> ah, it's a deep dish. So now he's from Chicago, yeah, Chicago. too. He double dips. He double dips. <laughs> he's a naughty New oh, no, Yorker. Was, well, did you hear what his newest thing that he did? It's double T. He made bad. his own time zone, My apparently, bad. now. Double Impact was, not, was John really? Van Damme and John Clan Van Damme. Double Team. Double team. I was I was quoting the wrong double Jean Claude Van Damme movie. It's double yes, team. Yes, Eric is still talking about Jean Claude Van Damme. I really am because I, I was I like, oh crap, I made like a, a mistake. Guys. Guys. Okay. I'm done now. You get out some porn or something. Like Yeah. <laughs> well guys, guys, check this out. Double oh, penetration. Yeah. Check it out. John the new, new Clive. Oh wait, no, no, no. It's actually double penetration three. I was I was, I was so off. I was, I was so off. off. That's oh, a good yeah. one. There's more penetration than Yeah, the but you do one. have to watch the three first two to know much. what's going on though. Yeah. It's a very good plot motivated movie. Yeah. This so. is a church podcast, right? Yeah. yeah. So with I d- oh, we did that to guess New Hope. <laughs> We're sitting there like cussing up a storm right before the show and then I'm like, oh, by the way, uh, this is like a Christian podcast and the look You're on people's faces. Yeah, the look on their faces were like, <laughs> wait, what? what? Yeah, we don't practice what we preach. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. Oh, that was little boys. Mm. What? Whoa, whoa. Marky Mark, no. Uh, uh, I think Marky Mark would make an amazing uh, Pre- molester. Molester. <laughs> No, what? who's going to expect that? Yeah, Bill really. Cosby, I had a fucking clue. Yeah. Marky Mark. Marky Mark, not a chance. No. Marky Mark molest me. What? No. What? Shut your fucking mouth. Say hi to your mother. For me. <laughs> After he does it. I'm so confused right now. Oh. Oh, this podcast took a turn. It's going dark, you guys. We do that sometimes. It It happens. So um, I'm going to assume that no girl has ever lived here. Uh, in this place, no, no, this is my own own pad. That's cool. I like it. Um, honestly, it, it's it's just amazing that, like, I could maybe I would be into all these things, but I would never put up posters and and action figures and antique cereal boxes and Voss waters. Is that a Voss water? I see. Uh, yeah, with uh, our old uh, our old podcast logo on it. Well, that. The, that's fantastic. Sponsored by Voss. <laughs> I wish. No. No, that took a, a we lot We have of our time. own water. Who does that? Yeah. Not even North Korea. Yeah. <laughs> well, we not do. anymore. We do. Yeah. All right. By um, your four-eye critic radio water. Yeah, it was our, our one of our first attempts at uh, throwing our logo on merchandise. We just made some water bottles for ourselves and... They were like, How'd that go nobody out? Else, How'd that work? Nobody How'd else they? wants these. I yeah. still have mine, though. I've peeled the... I still use that water bottle on a daily basis. I, I've just peeled off the old logo because I'm like, I don't want to be reminded of it. You don't even want the logo on it? Like the still kind of rep it? Well, to be fair, I took it off. Is that a four-hour <laughs> radio uh, vacuum in the corner? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, I wish. <laughs> yeah, I just started get tapping the logo on everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way we were for a little bit because we had all these decals and uh, not enough places to put them. So there's some decals just up in random places, which I'm actually glad of now because we have the domain name back. <laughs> <laughs> we had lost due to uh, the duplicitousness of one of our uh, former uh, co-hosts. Our for a year, our domain directed someplace else. Fuck you, Steve. It wasn't Steve's fault this time? <laughs> okay, but was my fault. Steve that Hofstetter. Time. That's the other famous. Yeah, comedian. Oh, fuck yeah. that guy. <laughs> Steve, fantastic talent, host of Fox. 
a host of laughs on Fox. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did, cool. yeah okay. No, no, wow. you got it. And you're giving me shit for still talking about John Claude Van Damme. You're no, like, okay. Twenty minutes ago, he has, he has, I mentioned this guy. He's guy's like team. me. If you don't, if you, if you don't, if you don't say it right then and there, you're gonna like wake up in the middle of the night, be like, "Oh shit!" And then people yeah. are looking at you like, "What the?" Fuck? That's why I had to get my John Claude Van Damme movie. Just right. wake up in the middle of the night and punch my girlfriend in the face. <laughs> that's, oh, that's foreplay, right? Yeah. Well, it, that's what she thinks it is. But. You're like, "Oh, hey, baby, feeling frisky." <laughs> you're like, "Doggy punch." So, do you guys have jobs? What do you? What do you? Uh, I mean, I don't want to remind your listeners of what they've already heard, but no, 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 no. Uh, I as we long don't. As we're I, getting intimate. Well, you can actually see uh, Eric's job yeah, right on his sure. thing. I uh, I work for I work. So um, moist. That's actually how I got this pad. Finally, is because I finally got a full uh, full time you know gig and everything like that like I was temping for a bit, but a full time gig. A yeah, full time gig job. I'm like trying to wordsmith my way out of this one um no but i work <laughs> like, I just, you know that thing you wake up you wake up you and you do it every like, day, like eight hours and you do yeah, stuff you they do tell stuff. you to do stuff and you do it and then at the end of the week they give you some money for it what yeah. are those what are those fucking what, things what do you called? call those things what uh what is that is that like a like a gig or a a workplace thing <laughs> a work, i don't know work you, um, what does my mom always tell me to get it's yeah. uh, a a haircut uh, it's a hair I, yeah i got there myself go. a haircut that was it. Uh, no, uh, I work for uh, the airlines. <clears throat> just, just work all of them. them. Every, yeah, every single, single one. one. No, there's a uh, one that's not too far from. It's in like the Tempe area or whatnot. I just do refunds and everything like that. I that sounds the... like a fantastic job. Oh, you get to work. Like for people free. are like, I want this. Well, oh no, I don't like, have here to. Here you go. It's back. It's for you. I'm the guy that you like at the airline. I don't have to deal with that actually. I do everything from computers. I don't have to talk to customers at all. Which just is click, nice. click, and you're yeah, like, it's just like but, no. You just read their comments and then you look. You're at like, how stuff. come I never had one of these before? <laughs> and you're just like, boom, done. You don't get one. Is it fulfilling? <sighs> it pays the bills. Okay. I rather. Are you trying <laughs> to get somewhere else? Well, actually, it's funny uh, since Kevin. Uh, Elliot's been he's been on the show whatnot. I've actually I told him and I've done a couple told him to get a job no yeah get a real job asshole no uh, no I like to do like stand up and stuff like that I've done that before oh um, fantastic so I just have to get actually back out there and do it um, again but yeah there's a couple of videos online actually on our Facebook page we've posted but, but yeah, facebook.com slash four eyed radio network oh you're gonna play or- Facebook.com slash the Sasquatch net. But yeah, I mean, right now it's just a job that pays the bills and stuff. And the, I mean, I guess the good part is like I can fly for free. So then I was asking uh, Kevin, just like, where's some good places to go? Like to have like good open mic places or whatnot. So he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> where's some good places to go? I mean, Phoenix isn't like, like a good just, city at all for stand up. You can't get up every night here. No, I just meant if I'm going somewhere and I'm like, ah, I want to just pop in a club or something like that. Um, but yeah, no, just uh, yeah, that's something I would like to do. But obviously, I gotta pay bills for now. So yeah, it's, it's, I just have to actually go to places and actually start just doing it again. Well, that's how long all. have you been doing it for? Well, let's see. I did it back when I was nineteen, and then took a break for like ten years because I had an ex fiance in that time. So you just period. started at nine. Like, to how many? How long did you do it for? Uh, probably about a good year, maybe two years, okay. so from like probably nineteen to twenty one. And then life got in the way, and then that ended horribly a couple of years ago. So I got my shit together, and then just I think last year is when I got back into it again. So. Okay, that's fantastic. I haven't seen you out at all. No, because I, I, I think I did like three shows at Stand Up uh, Scottsdale with uh, Michael Turner's uh, Sunday show. That oh, was that doing. was a while ago. Yeah, it was a while that ago, was, yeah. That was a hop, leap, and a jump in the, the past. Yeah, so, so yeah, I got to find... I'm not like you hip kids these days. I got to find my own place, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> what, what went wrong with your fiance? Oh, that was just fucking... Can we open up that can of worms? <laughs> We've already talked about it. Uh, let's see. Um... <clears throat> Apparently, it just didn't work, you know. Well, basically, you're in a relationship for you know when just you didn't work. Well, she no, 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 black cock too much. <laughs> no, no, that I wish that was the case, and that would have made more sense. Uh, no, it was basically you know when you get to the you date somebody for a while, and then you're supposed to have that breakup. Like you're like this is we should probably see other people. We should probably figure ourselves out. But then you do the dumb thing where you're like we should move in together. Yeah, it was one of those things. Yeah. So it just kept building on where shit just kept happening, and it was just like we didn't deal with it. Fantastic. So. Me and my girlfriend are moving in together <laughs> in uh, two weeks. That's well, we've been living together, but we're doing that doing step like where I can be like, you know what? Maybe I should look back and not said that on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Does she actually listen to your podcast? Um, 
She makes the posters. Oh, so yeah, yeah. she listens hey, to there, it. Sometimes. Okay, there you go. You're in the step of the right direction. My ex did not even touch any of it, and she got pissed off when I would spend one hour a night to do that. Well, my girlfriend, she does stand up sometimes. Well, she she's taking a little bit of break, but she's been doing it just as long as I have. So oh, cool. We have that. That's 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 how we match. See, there you, that, there you go. See, that mine was a fucking horrible, horrible situation so see you're you're a lot better off than how I long did you go when you're just like i should end this and i'm not ending it like was that a thought yeah like it was it was I just hate that, there i hate that stage it's a problem i've been in that stage where you're like you I'll know it, i'll put it this it's way it's not going anywhere i've never broken up with a girl they've always broken up with me and it makes it so much easier oh my god i've it's, never had to do the it whole really is. But it when really you is bad, when but you find one that is incredibly insecure it just Never will happen. Yeah, I know, which is uh, probably going to happen soon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope she doesn't listen to the show. Oh, My wife has listened to precisely one episode of this show. Was that when she was on The it? show that she was on. <laughs> she <laughs> insisted on listening. Like, I, I woke up. Like, I had gone to bed, and I was asleep. And then I woke up. on your podcast. I woke, funny. I woke up <laughs> hearing myself, and I was like, What's going on? Was she like diddling and my wife was, to it? was laying was there in the say. bed, listening to the episode on the phone. <laughs> uh, that's the that's night after that. we did it, and I was like, the "Fuck, are you doing?" And now I couldn't go back to sleep because I kept hearing myself. I'm like, "Did I say anything really stupid that night?" Like, I don't even remember now. So now I'm like sitting there at two o'clock in the morning listening to the show I just did five hours earlier. And I'm like, "This is fucking sucks." <laughs> did, did it was she... a good show though, actually. Like I, I, having listened to it again, I was like, oh, "Okay, that was oh, actually okay. a pretty decent show." <laughs> it's good marriage. It's good episode. Good, good marriage. Episode. Episode. Yeah, she just brings that, and this is what's wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa! You said I you were going to listeners to this. You said you were going to yeah. tell jokes. What is this? Yeah. She's like, I have your penis on the list. Oh, oh. So it's a joke. Oh. Yeah, I get a little you, meta. Yeah. Okay, sorry. That was, kinda, that was hurtful, man. <laughs> that even offended me. <laughs> oh, oh okay. I had my sister sorry, cry man. at the table. Uh, I haven't seen my sister in a while, but um, <laughs> and now, she, that, now we know we're, we're out eating. We're out eating, okay. and um, where were we at? We were at this place called the Lux Lounge in Maricopa, Arizona, Ooh. by the Ultra Star Theater by Harris <laughs> like Ocean you, Casino. Like, like you really, we're down there over by the Maricopas. When you move to Maricopa, you talk like this, and oh. you order deep dish pizza, even though you're from <laughs> New York City. <laughs> anyway. New York City. She was like, I don't know. She was being kind of a uh, You can say it. Bitch. Oh, okay. You went, with, you went with the B word. You went with the B word. Whatever. It's like she gets her drink. It's like just drink your drink. Yeah. It's like you you ordered it. Just drink it. Don't complain that the glass is slightly slanted. Which if I got that, I'd be like, this is the coolest fucking glass ever. Yeah. I wouldn't like look at it and like roll my eyes. Be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> really? I, that's how she was like. Because it was. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this ruined the entire drink. So so everyone's like, like this fucking glass. It's got like a roundness to it. I don't like it. Yeah, so everyone's like, just <laughs> just drink your glass. And then someone is like, it'll make you have more fun. And I was like, yeah, it'll make you prettier, which doesn't really make that much sense. Because like, <laughs> I have to drink for her to be yeah, prettier. You have yeah. to. But at the same point, and then she just broke down. It was the weirdest oh, thing. Yeah. What if I said something about your small dick? And I don't have a small dick. But I was like, even if you did... First off, why are you looking at it? Second yeah, of all, yeah. yeah. What the... F- what's gross with you? What, have you seen it erect? If so, why? Yeah. <laughs> It's like you didn't even finish me off or whatever. Yeah. Okay. This is my sister I'm talking about. That's all right. It happens. I actually made a joke like that before where somebody was like, is it going to be weird if someone starts dating your sister? I'm like, a little bit. I mean, it's going to be weird to have another guy's penis in her besides mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I hope. So you're in good sense. company here. You can you can say what you want. Now let's hope she doesn't <laughs> listen to the show. Cause no, my sister's heard that. If she actually was the one that laughed. She was like, ah, it's so true. The guy was just like. <laughs> I'm out of here. This is fucking yeah, That was weird. a guy that she did not want to have any type of relationship yeah, pretty with much. at all. Otherwise, she'd be like, no, no, no. Like, all right, I'm that only happened one this. time, okay? And I was Well, asleep. actually, she was doing the, the dick sake. thing. She was started giving out. Our numbers were similar at one point. It was off by one digit, our cell phone numbers. So she started giving guys my number. So they'd be like, is this Aaron? I'll be like, no. Can you get her? I'm like, she's not here. She's buried in the backyard now. <laughs> they oh. asked who's calling. <laughs> yeah. I, I would uh, say yeah, she's, because uh, I would nah, stock up on those dick pics. Those are hard to come, <laughs> those are hard to come by. The dick pics. <laughs> you never know when one of those come in handy. You know, they could be like a future senator sending those dick pics right now. And I was like, that's just five years from now. You'd be like, oh, this fucking guy's running for president. <laughs> oh yeah, Tribune. <laughs> Have I got Mr. something Rubio. for you? <laughs> I imagine a, a a future just like Waterworld instead instead of paper. We have the trade 
dick pics. <laughs> oh, I was going to say we all have gills, but no, okay. Dick pics. Dick pics. Yeah. Gills would be. So how that, uh, would <laughs> that I mean, just be, be like cool. a bunch on your phone, or would you have to actually have the physical copies of the dick pics? Believe it or not, I did not even think this concept out. But <laughs> while we're doing it, let's go back to printed dick pics. <laughs> like I think that would be more of it. Because let me, uh, who prints dick pics? Yeah, you know those are pretty fucking rare. Printed dick pic. What is that? I a, mean, well, since since the advent of the cellular okay. phone, yes. I mean, before they were pretty common because Polaroids. Instant print. Okay, that's right. And that was the only way you could trade in dick pics. But was there dick? <laughs> with, but were dick pics Who's big back a then? Snap of, with a Polaroid of a dick pic. Like I'm gonna send this to Rachel. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully she likes Hold on. it. I hope I got her address <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, really. So oh, crap. Do I do hey, I need to put hey, an extra stamp that, on this? Did you get that uh, letter I sent you? No, I I haven't gotten any of my mail. It's been getting stolen. I just <laughs> <laughs> what. Was I off by one digit? Did I send it to your brother? Yeah. <laughs> That's a callback. Yeah, I don't know what's... <laughs> Steve, what's going on? Why don't you check the mail anymore, Steve? Because all I keep getting are fucking dick pics, all right? <laughs> Every it's time I go to the mailbox. Yeah. It's just... I open it up, and it's just cocks and boxes. That's all it is. Yeah, that song about walking on sunshine, where every time it goes to the mailbox, yeah. It's like that, except with dick pics. It's just a bunch, everywhere. A bunch of dick pics. Fucking dick pics. Ah, fucking dick pics. Fucking... Oh, hey. He's there, Sparky. <laughs> You scared the cat. Toby. Toby. Okay, uh, yeah, so that, so now we have to figure out. So what, uh, so are like Asian dick pics going to be like, you know, the lower, <laughs> lower currency or how, how is this a currency rare with this? Okay. So <clears throat> Asians have gained a lot of flack for the last few thousand years for having <laughs> small dicks. For the few, last few so thousand So I think just for karma reasons that in the future – their dicks should be worth a lot of money. But then again, there is a lot of them, so that kind of brings the, the value down. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was about to say, they might be also very rare because I don't know how many Asians are sending off their dicks. Well, I think it's, <laughs> I think it's a matter of if you can find one that's not pixelated, then that's that a, one oh, that's is good. worth it's like more. A rare, it's, what, is it, what is it, like a rare Pokemon or something like <laughs> yeah, that? You're like, here I have the elusive tiny Asian cock, but... So unpixelated. Oh. <laughs> We're going to take it into a pawn store and they're going to be like, I can't tell if that's, if that's uh, like, yeah, Korean uh, or yeah. Japanese. Hold so on, I got a guy for that specializes yeah. <laughs> in this type of stuff. <laughs> Let me bring down Dave. Yeah. Dave. Best I can do is uh, oh my. three white cocks and a black cock for this. Yeah. <laughs> Best I can do. Best I can do. <sighs> Damn. Or do you have like rare ones where it's like the dick pic and then it has the balls, but one only has one ball? Is that like a unique? Oh, kinda, the Lance know? Armstrong special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lance Armstrong special. It's like that's a misprint. That's worth millions yeah. of dollars. Yeah, yeah. It's should. like the Honus Wagner T two O A baseball card. <laughs> I think the misprint would be like a like a, like a Bruce Jenner dick pic at this point. That would be ultra rare now, right? Oh, that would be like no. He still has his. Oh, he does. Yeah. Okay. Well, so once he, I don't even know if he's doing that. With, well, you're gonna have to check with him. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't think I, I'm gonna do that. I think everyone's kind of just hold on, assuming hold on. that he's people pop, people pop. He's, he's yeah. tossing into the curb. Hey, <laughs> hello. What's, what's his fucking name now? Caitlin. Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin. What's up? Hey. What's up, doll? Sugar, baby. Don't call me. Hey, you still got that thing dangling between your legs? <laughs> well, how do you have to ask that question, even if I did know the dude? I don't know. Girl. Well, uh, I wouldn't Gal. say it like that. I would just, I, I'd start with a conversation, you know, like, hey, like, hey, hey how yeah. you, how you what, what are you going through right now? Saw you on ESPN? Like, cool, cool. Hey, about good, that cock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I have it? Yeah. Can I take a picture of it when it's like, chopped off? Can't you just ask his former wife Can they let you is? take it Because doesn't she still have the balls? Like, afterwards? No. I don't even know how that works. I don't know. There's got to be just yeah. Just put it. Just put it in the pickle jar. We're good. Just pickle this, and I'll take this right off. <laughs> yeah, just don't put it. Just don't put it on the shelf next to the pickles. Yeah. Never gonna make that mistake again. Yeah. Fuck. How many dicks did you have? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Somebody's like just collecting dicks. <laughs> just dicks. Like people who who go the other way and just like I just want oh a celebrity that yeah. thing's gonna be worth twenty thousand yeah. dollars on eBay. <laughs> I would probably pay more for a dick than that. Who's uh, uh, what? Okay, if you <laughs> Morgan <laughs> Freeman, I want okay, a dick can, right now. I was about to say, whose like dick would you want the most? Like? No, I, obviously you want somebody who's uh, a manly man because that's because you dick man brr, ball. Yeah. Uh, well, are balls included with the dick? Is it like a, a if two, it's counted by volume? Obviously, combo? Liam Neeson's is going to be the most expensive. 
You think? Or Michael Fassbender or John Hamm. Yeah, I've heard they all have some sausage to work with. Uh-huh. I mean, do you think they'd like parcel it up? You know, if they're that big, they're like, you know what? Yeah, could it fit? It's too much for would one. To, would they have to get like a bigger one jar? jar? Do you guys ever collect baseball cards? It's going to be like baseball cards when they have like a little snippet of the jersey in the card. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there <laughs> you go. Yeah. Like, like, yeah, I got Holy the, uh, shit. Got oh, the, did you got, got the, the foreskin? Oh, oh I got Mark Wahlberg's foreskin. That wasn't even what? English. What? Mark Wahlberg. No. Mark what? Wahlberg. I'm flying in space. <laughs> I thought he was Jewish. Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. Is he not? Say hi to your mother for me. Because I mean, he wouldn't have foreskin. I mean, you'd have to go way back to get his, huh? Listen, doesn't everybody have foreskin? What is when oh, is all the it? foreskin removed when you're circumcised? I, I thought I you know. just don't have that little... What's lot? the shaft skin called? You, fucking skin? I don't, that's like a, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, what's your cheek skin called? Because it's not the same material. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know how much is left after a circumcision because I don't have that, so... Tune in uh, next week. We're going to have a, a moil on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're called. Oh, hell no. Uh, Just don't get that one that has a half-off special. You don't want that. This is funny. Usually when Matthew's here, we always go into the cock talk. But we yeah, we're, we're having it. cock talk without Matt. It feels it feels weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty uh, high. I'm going to message him. I'm going to let him know. Oh, like, no, you're fine. We're it's, having I cock talk it. without you. No, I'm like, now I can just think about like this whole like future <laughs> apocalyptic craziness where women are just going to be chopping off guys junk just to have currency oh my god that is a scarier th- i didn't even think about that in this conversation now i cannot go to bed you're just watching your girl for the other time be like i'm not going to sleep she's, she's not going to sleep she's going to cut this off hey. she's a so. she doesn't fucking need that shit anyway yeah she's like i'm poor i'm eating ramen i need currency <laughs> no i'm not done with it yet so how long have you been single for? Are you single right now? Uh, it's uh, it's complicated. We're not going to get into that. He's got that it's complicated box checked does, on does Facebook. It, I was going to say, is that on your Facebook status? No, on my Facebook it? it's just uh, it's just uh, it's Steve. It's just, it's just Steve. <laughs> yeah, it's just Steve. <laughs> I made my own box. It's just Steve. Just Steve, damn it. Um, Relationship no, just, status. Fucking Steve. Yeah. Well, I, I, I wanted Steve. to put I wanted to put Batman, but apparently I can't just be like in a relationship with Batman. Yeah, in a relationship with Batman. Or that's yeah, who you are. No, that's, that's who I am. Job. Batman. Yeah, that's my job. If you're gonna do that, if that's your choose. employer, Batman. You work for Batman. Yeah, you work for Holy Batman. Shit. Yeah, dude. oh, dude, he's kind of a dick, Wayne yeah. Enterprise. Yeah, Wayne Enterprise. Oh, I wish I worked for Enterprise. I work under the Butler. Okay. Yeah, you're like I'm not even. I'm the Butler's Butler. Yeah. If like, there was a job, like when Alfred Wayne needs shit done that he doesn't want to do, I have to fucking do it. Yeah. If there was a company called Wayne Enterprise, I would totally. Just, oh, I would totally. I apply. would like, file what do you do? papers and just fucking. You make weapons of mail. mass destruction and sell them to Middle Eastern countries. I don't care. I'm fucking on board. Hire make, me. <laughs> make the dopest business card ever. Oh, yeah. Mark Silverstein, Wayne Enterprises. What? Yeah. So what if I clean the toilets? Go fuck yourself, Sharon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I got my own utility belt to work in there. It's just a fanny pack, Steve. Shut up. There's Wayne got, Enterprises got, on it. But I got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. And it's. Utilitarian. <laughs> it has utilities. Uh, now I want to work there. Fuck you, God. I'm gonna <laughs> is there such? A, is there? I don't a know. Real? Probably not. There's got to be. It's probably like a gotta Wayne be. Foundation or something like that. There's got to be a Wayne. Well, what's What's the company called? Enterprise. Is that the car like uh, loan or? Oh, uh, the oh the. Is it like the rent a car or whatnot? Enterprise. 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 Is it Enterprise or Enterprise? I know what you're talking about, though, with the cars just show it's up. It's right. too late Holy for a witty shit, comment guys. about it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wayne Enterprises, uniforms, safety awards, advertising specialties. They probably make fucking utility belts, for fuck's sake. Holy shit. That is amazing. Are you clicking on your, I am, your computer right now? Yeah. You're, like, on the screen. Yeah, it's a touch screen. Windows 8 and all that. Do you get, like, fingerprints on it? Yeah, I just wipe them off. It's, I mean, it's all good. It's, like, it's the same thing as your phone or whatever. On the bright side, at least it's using its it's all fingers good. this time. Wayne Enterprises Incorporated has supplied uniforms, PPE, incentive programs, and promotional products to the petroleum industry for over 30 years. Damn. PPE, personal protective equipment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down You're on damn that. damn right. It's like goggles and shit. Steel-toed shoes and whatnot. That's what I wear for work. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I build lumber. I build lumber. No. I build I lumber? I rebuild things out of lumber. I... <laughs> <'Cause> I <laughs> I'm a carpenter. I grow algae in the <laughs> desert. That's That's what I do. That's not a joke. That's what I do. That's what you do? That's what I do. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Let's talk about this. I was like, bullshit, anyway. Wait, no, for real? <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, <laughs> it's a grueling job. I wake up, it's like 12-hour shifts, and I just... Yeah, let me tell you something. It'd be fun if I didn't work for such dickish people. Okay. 
That's I had a pool in my backyard. I fucking grew algae in there. Didn't take any work at all. <laughs> <laughs> it just fucking did it on its own. <laughs> this shit is invested by the Mars people. Mars com- Mars candy bars. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, is it for like color? They and are shit? the fucking investors, and they even like walk by for tours and shit. And like they're like, do they bring candy bars? No, they. they we, Fuck we could them. buy them. We could buy them in the fucking vending machine. They don't even do get, you that get shit a up discount. Free. Do you at least get it like it costs? Well, thanks to Crystal, now we have Avante Marketplace, which is this company that came in, and you can go in and like you can buy their shit and scan it and pay. Do you get like a certain amount on your check, like for that? <laughs> no, you don't. You you pay. You have to put money into price that. for food just because you're too lazy to go the fucking Chipotle right down the street. Well, that's because Chipotle fucking sucks. Fuck Chipotle. Seriously. Okay, um, I want to talk about my work now. I want to talk about why you don't like Chipotle. <laughs> yeah, I was fascinated with work, Eric. but now what? Eric? It's gross. Have you had Chipotle? Have what you eaten it? Yeah, gross. and this it's is disgusting. actually going to be horrible because they're going to be our new sponsor. Like you want to, you want a fucking good burrito. You go to, you find yourself a something Bertos. And there you get a damn What's good burrito. burrito. I'm not going to say it's true, but I'm I'm not going to say that just because you can find a better burrito elsewhere doesn't mean that Chipotle doesn't have any. Merit you find a better a burrito good. at Taco Bell, okay? Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> not so a relationship of going, a chip yeah. of <laughs> <laughs> with burritos, or <laughs> I mean, I'll stick your dick in a burrito. That's that'd make a good pick, right? Sell it. <laughs> what kind of a that would be? Fun. I did get a I did get a quesarito the last time I went to a Chipotle, and it was so. Would that cost? All right. Would that be more currency if you had your dick in like some food product then, like the pie fucking guy? Ah, uh, probably. Okay. Yeah, so you're I going think, for the I Jason like Biggs, a, huh? Like Jason. A, yeah, you got some Jason Biggs going on, <laughs> like an action dick pick. Like yeah. you're, oh like, yeah, doing like something. Oh, like that. Like is he fighting that's, transformers that's right turn. now? <laughs> is he blowing up into the sky? <laughs> Holy shit! That, that's you know an action turn. shot of like Mark a jumping out. <laughs> What? No. What? Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So, Say hi to your motherfucker. I think you, your, your Wal- Wahlberg was slipping a little into walk in. Yeah, yeah, it, was. It, was, it was a, a Wahlberg. I was like, you know what? Just let him go with it. He's, <laughs> he's, a, he's having a good time right now. Now I want that like action dick pics. None of these lame little like, oh, look, it's at a different angle. Like, have your dick like jumping out of a window or something like that. Or like doing push-ups. Some green yeah. screen action. Like yeah, green screen do. action. Yeah, do the Shia LaBeouf thing. <laughs> do it! <laughs> you have your dick... <laughs> Just a video you sent to somebody with Shia LaBeouf the back, just like, fucking do it! The girl's like, I, I guess I gotta do I, it. Fuck. I Shia can't LaBeouf not. is telling me to do put it. put a lot of production work yeah. into this dick pic. I've, yeah. gotta, I've gotta give him some credit for that, you know? Is that a dick in front of a tank at Tenement Square? Oh, my <laughs> oh God. Shit. That is, oh, shit. That is gonna be worth lots of money someday. That is like Andy Warhol-esque. Yeah. <laughs> that is beautiful. Uh, that's what, so that's what we're doing. We're we're starting the new dick pics with like we're putting scenarios action in there. We're, dick we're doing action dick pics. Four dick radio network. Okay. The four dick radio network. <laughs> now we're gonna have to find another dick. Do you guys think girls talk as much about dick pics as uh, guys do? No, but I don't know. Do they? Do you think do they talk about a, twat shots? Though, yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Do they talk about twat shots? I don't even think it come, would ever come up in a podcast. Would episode. never come up. Women. Next time you're uh, next asking. time you're recording Underground Railroad, see if you can get the girls to talk about twat shots. I don't. They talk about everything though. We'll talk or about would it be cunt clips? Cunt <laughs> clips. <laughs> I'm just trying to think. I, don't I mean, know. dick pics. Um, uh, uh, I don't know. See if you can get them to talk about it. Because it happens. I mean, those pictures are out there, too. They just don't get as much talk as the dick pics. But they're there. (laughs) They they don't get as much talk. There's not a big buzz about the clip pics (laughs) right now, you guys. Yeah, Yeah, no. Click, clip. The clip pics will come back in, uh, you know, 2016. They'll make a bit. They'll come back in a big, bad way. But right now... 2015. Well, it I mean, those cell phones in the 70s would definitely be bush pics. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rampant. It's like, are you so sending much. me a bush baby? What's going on here? Like, I, I, Is that a bush? Like an actual shrubbery? Is, or is that your Are those bush? Peter Gallagher's eyebrows? What are I'm those? Gonna need you to, I'm going to need you to pull back a you little bit. Let me see bit. some context here. Oh, it's a burning bush. Okay. Oh, That's ouch. artistic. It's got frosted tips. <laughs> it's got frosted tips. <laughs> we said the 70s, not the 90s. Come on now. Lance Bass. <laughs> Lance Bass pussy haircut. <laughs> I would pay to see that. What? Uh, if, so, if, some, if a girl actually like frosted the tips and spiked her pubic hair. Eric would pay to see I want a board on this wall right now. Of, and the title would be things Eric, Eric would pay, pay to see. Pay to and see. right now, we'd be able to pause the episode and I'd maybe go to a sponsor. But we'd be able to write down frosted tip bush. I'm going to invest in a whiteboard to put up here now. So. Huh. All right. All right. 
Things that, and that'll be a new segment on the show. What will things Eric pay for? Definitely not a Jean Claude Van Damme movie in the movie theater. No, uh, not anymore. He just torrents that. Does he still make movies? Yeah, he was in Expendables. Oh, I. That's not him making a movie. That's him being asked to come over and play for a few hours. Listen, yeah. I thought like when I first heard about the Expendables, I was like, "This is gonna be awesome." And then I tried to watch it, and I literally fell asleep. It's terrible. Halfway through the first one, it's terrible. I was like, yeah, this you is can't. So anybody bad. who tries to watch those movies seriously, then don't. It wasn't. I wasn't even expecting serious. I wasn't. I was in it for the nostalgia, and it still was not enough to even keep me. Come awake. on, that's me, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I was doing my best. <laughs> Sometimes me. your best just isn't good enough. Tell that to the Ecuadorian maid I had sex with. <laughs> ah, she got a lot of dick pics. They and make then, your, I, then I told her I'd be back. They make your roar kind of too much, too much uh, big of a part in the first one. Mm. Like I don't even fucking. I'm 24. I don't know who the fuck you are. Yeah, and I'm 24 now. That means I was like 13 when that. That's happened. the Sin City <laughs> guy, right? Or is that the Hellboy guy? No, that's Ron Perlman. Yeah, that's Ron the Sin Perlman. City guy. Then I uh, don't talk bad about Ron Perlman. I love, oh, I love Ron, Ron Perlman. Perlman. He's awesome. Um, no, yeah, yeah, you're talking yeah, about the Sin, Sin City guy. Yeah, yeah. So he's like more current than any of those other guys. Yeah, actually, yes. Mickey Rourke. Yeah, yeah, because he was well, he was gone for a while. Yeah, I don't and care how he, current what happened? He is. Like something happened to his face, right? Like he got like it was yeah, puberty, botched uh, plastic uh, surgery or some <laughs> shit. Was it twice? Like, wasn't that like some some bot surgery or something? I don't know what happened, don't know but what yeah, happened. no, he Something made his, his face. He made a like, yeah. He can drugs be one of those things? Yeah, I think it was drugs. So, yeah, but he can't. He was in Sin City, and then he was also in Iron Man two or whatnot, and then he kind of fizzled out again. He was in the Wrestler. Do you guys watch the Wrestler? Yeah, I think didn't he get like an Oscar for that or something? I don't know. Didn't watch it. It's in the Lincoln bin. <laughs> it's in the Lincoln. It's in the Lincoln bin. <laughs> Movies I should watch, but don't give a fuck about. Now, we're gonna have another another thing on the wall too. Going things are in the Lincoln bin. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> So evidently, it was a combination. It was booze and boxing and uh, the re- re- reconstructive surgery from all that that, quote, didn't turn out so well. That's bad. <laughs> your celebrity and your doctor botches up on your face. Yeah. You got to turn into a woman after that. Caitlyn Jenner. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh. Uh, nice callback. I like it. <laughs> that's what I'm all about. That's what I'm all about. Um, Asian dick pic. Okay. Asian dick pics. Speaking of, uh, yeah, North Korea, apparently they wanted their own time zone now. They basically said, fuck you, Japan. Who gives a flying fuck what North Korea wants? That's what I said. Like, people will post stuff on Facebook. I'm like, why are we caring? Okay. Listen, Kim Jong-un. Like, 99% of the people in your country do not have watches because you won't allow them to. What the fuck do you care what time zone you are? I care because I tell them what I want to. I don't know. The thing about that is... (laughs) It's only... Oh, you just made that he up. Can, he can that make up a, stats about his country. I can make up stats about his country, too. <laughs> That's true. I have unicorns all over the place. Only I see them, though. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the thing about that. It's If you think about it, okay, they come up with their own time zone. If nobody else acknowledges it, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. The only thing that's going to hurt is that when they are expecting a message from Japan or the United States, they're going to get it like an hour later. Yeah. <laughs> they're they're like, be like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're like, yeah, no one's on your fucking time zone or whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not creating 27 hours for you or whatever you want. Why you no call? Why you no call? I hear all night. I didn't get call. You're your day. Dick I call dick. you Dennis Robbie. You yeah, don't yeah. You never pick up your phone. I send you dick pics. o'clock in the morning, motherfucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said, what? call me at two. Yeah, looks <laughs> looks at the phone. What the fuck? <laughs> That's a Dennis Robin, not Tracy Morgan. No, it was my Matthew actually. <laughs> that was that was his Matthew impression. Okay, Matthew never says that, but yeah, I was doing that for a while. Then people finally came on the show. and Thought that was Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what? They're like, oh wait, that's not Matt. But, yeah, no, I thought that was... Well, okay, this is the other thing I wanted to bring up. We didn't bring it up on the one pod, uh, last week's podcast, but... Okay, the lion thing... The lion That got tonight. killed. A we away? Did you hear about this? Away? Oh, Cecil. Yeah. You're talking about Cecil. Yeah. Thoughtful. Yeah, that was sad. It wasn't worth 24-hour news coverage for a month and a half. Okay, thank but you. But it was sad. I mean, here's the thing. Dude goes to Africa, pays a bunch of money to go shoot a lion... He just, he fucking shot the wrong one. That's the only reason this is news, is because he shot one that people knew. Mm-hmm. Like, but did they really nobody, know him? Well, he was, t- like, he shouldn't have shot that lion. The, the people who we are guiding him color. should have been yeah. like, His oh, don't fucking shoot that stock. lion. Yeah. Um, he was a great, great lion. And I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm not so down with so those So that's the thing that was bad, was because he had a name? Who named him? 
who was he? The country, like Zimbabwe or whatever. Like Zimbabwe. He was we tagged. Like Caesar. they tracked him and everything, and he was like a. He was like the friendly lion. Basically, he was like their fucking mascot yeah, for this yeah. preserve or something like that. That's uh, it's pretty dick. I think right. it's I think it's fucking stupid that people will go to a foreign country and pay thousands of dollars just to do something that would be completely illegal where they're from. Like it would be fucking illegal as shit to do that in the United States. But so he's like, oh, I'm gonna go to some African country, pay them fifty thousand dollars. They bend the rules for me. I get to go shoot a fucking lion. How is that fun? I don't even understand that. But at the, on the other I'll hand, I'll play like, devil's advocate a little bit. It might be fun. <laughs> I, might, I might be with you yeah, on the morality thing, but uh, I'm not saying shooting a fucking lion. I'm not saying sh- shooting Simba is not fun. That might be fun. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, after, and after you do it, just go circle. I mean, I fish. fucking hate cats. Like, I think cats are evil. Are they endangered? And the bigger they get, cats. the more evil they probably are. Are they endangered? The, the lions? Yeah. I don't, I don't know what breed of lion. Well, I mean, <laughs> fuck, I don't know. What breed of lion? I'm pretty sure the lion is the breed. But uh, <laughs> well, don't they have different ones? Like there's like all sorts of fucking cats. There's like Siamese cats and there's like, like, there's, like fucking asshole cats like Toby. I mean like, if like it's, those gray if, cats with the little if, short ears that are always <laughs> bastards. If they're endangered or whatever, <clears throat> then it's like, all right, make a big deal about it, whatever. Mm-hmm. Let's save the fucking planet. <laughs> but I mean, if, if there's a bunch of them, then it's kind of like, really? Can't you just take the tag it? off, put on another one, and be like, ah, oh, Cecil's bad. <laughs> That's not Cecil. <laughs> the, Cecil doesn't have the, the lazy African eye. The lion, specifically, Panthera Leo Leo. Thanks for some reason, they have to have sounds lion like twice. Sounds like a song by Panthera Leo Leo. So Leo, Leo. The fucking lion, 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 evidently, <laughs> according to the <laughs> official yeah. name, Guess is in lying. fact on the endangered species list and is in threat of extinction by the year 2050. Well, what's this Dennis doing going out hunting? Okay, then you're you're bad. You're bad. Yeah, no. That but being just, said, there are bigger news stories to cover. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, look, it happened. It's bad. Give, make him, you know, pay a shit ton of money or what he has to do. Donate to the, you know, wild life thing or whatnot. But I'm like, everybody's post. I started unfriending people on Facebook because of it. I was just was like, I'm, I'm just like, I'm done with this. Like, we get it. It's like you can't unshoot the damn lion. So it's like, fuck. But the dentist is getting like death threats. He had to shut down his business and whatever. I'm like, honestly, I don't really feel bad for the guy. But at the same time, I feel bad for the people who are taking time out of their lives to go bug this fucking dentist. Like, really? Like, does that help your situation in some way? We do know lions. Hey, but speaking of things with with, with crazy poofy hair that should probably be shot for the good of mankind, Uh did you see Trump on the uh, debate? No, I decided not to watch that. I I am convinced. I took a stand because I knew I was going (laughs) to defend people on Facebook if I I saw what they were going to post. Here's the thing. like the gym. No, I I took a stand by going, I'm going to be Batman and play Batman. (laughs) (laughs) Here's the thing. The the gym I go to for some reason, like like, one of the TVs they have up, is always on Fox News. And luckily there's no sound because I think I'd probably go insane. But I'm, I'm watching a movie on my tablet on the treadmill, but I'm also like every now and then I glance up and I see fucking Trump on the screen. I'm like, what the fuck? And they got the captioning on so I can see the fucking idiotic shit he's spewing out of his mouth. And it's... I am i wasn't convinced. I had heard the, the conspiracy theory, if you will, that Trump is actually a Democratic plant in the Republican... Rape Holy shit! In order to fuck more. with that is to to basically like completely defile the yeah. entire Republican that's, ca- campaign. That's, that's just one candidate that makes the Republicans look stupid. <laughs> all the other ones, you guys. Yeah, all the other ones are smart as a whip, like right? A good yeah. party. Oh, but um, no. It, I'm like, I never. I'm like, I never bought into that. I'm like, aha, that's funny, huh? And then I saw some of the, the shit he was saying, and I was like, holy fuck. It could be true. He is like seriously torpedoing the entire fucking well, yeah, party. What he's, is he just doing this for attention? Not like, is oh yeah, or like is like some like. He, I mean, he has to know he's not going to win, but like, is it just I some sure ploy not because, oh to like gosh. get a new show or do something? So you want to be the president, <laughs> hosted by Donald Trump, Celebrity Apprentice, Republican Candidate Edition? Yeah. I don't know. Um, yeah. Oh man, he was just. Like, they, they were asking you him about women, like, fat pigs, or whatever, and he's like, "Yeah, I said that." <laughs> no, you, he said, "I was talking about Rosie O'Donnell." Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's all okay because you were talking about this one specific woman, so it's okay. You weren't talking about all women. And then, uh, oh man, everyone's like, "That's oh, not cool." That. Rosie O'Donnell's just shot in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna they, tweet about that. <laughs> yeah, they 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 question him on his sexist stuff that he said, and he. Basically, totally deflected. He, he's like, oh, that's been blown out of proportion. I was only saying that about this one person. And really, I'm the victim here because everybody's picking on me. I was like, 
<laughs> Are you fucking serious, dude? Um, oh man, it was just there was there was one point they asked him about you know hey you, you know you're a Republican you're running as Republican but you've donated money to Hillary Clinton you've donated money to all these other Democrats whatever and he straight he said yeah because I, I donate money to them because then they'll do what I want them to do later on and then he turned he's like. Everybody here on this stage, I've donated money to. So when I turn to them for some help, they're going to have my back. I'm oh, like, that's hilarious. I was like, that was the moment I was like, okay, the Democrats paid him to jump into this thing and torpedo the entire party. And I love it. <laughs> Bill Clinton's like, yeah, get my wife into the White House because when she's out of town, she's out of town. I love how everyone's scared of Hillary. No one's giving Bernie a little uh, second I, thought. Everyone's Bernie? just like, Bernie's Hillary. nuttier than a squirrel turd, but I love him. Hillary's I don't even know who that be. is. Bernie Sanders. Oh man! Who is this? Is he's um, is he running on the on the Democratic ticket, or is he actually running independent or like I, Green Party or some the, bullshit? I don't know. I haven't been keeping up with the politics, but I mean, maybe it is. The, I mean, if they if we had a socialist party, he'd definitely be there. It'd probably be the Democratic um, party, but but it is he's cool got some having great, that. Uh, he's that got some great ideas, label. and he is like, but he is kind of wacky. Um, it's like, look, we're going to take all your money think, think. and invest it into dick pics. <laughs> hey, we do this. <laughs> Fuck the Federal Reserve. Yeah, we've seen the future, and the future is dicks, dicks. of dicks. <laughs> it's all dicks. You're a dick. I'm a dick. That girl's all a dick. dicks all the all time. All the dicks all the time. We're going to turn your 401k into uh, three blacks. What does Bill Clinton have to say about this? <laughs> I say give all the dick pics you need. Two Lance Armstrongs. Because <laughs> Monica Lewinsky will be there to clean it up. <laughs> How you doing there, Hillary? That's right. I'm getting a blowjob from an Asian woman. It's cool. Who's the Asian? I don't care. Because <laughs> Bill Clinton doesn't pay for strange. No, he shouldn't. I don't. No, no. He's... <laughs> I was like, no, no, <laughs> yeah. no. Yeah, that's accurate. Yeah, he would that's... not. He would not. I mean, you'd think he would tip at least, but oh, but he shouldn't have to pay right. for it straight up. I give the tip all right. Yeah. All over your face, neck, and chest. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair Not enough. Bush, though. Bush would definitely, he definitely pays. I mean, oh. you got oil money. Yeah. You're yeah. going to pay. Yeah. I pay them with oil. I just give them oil all the time. <laughs> it's like oil of Olay. <laughs> get it? <laughs> <laughs> oil for Olay. All right. I get it. I get it. It's my nice. new campaign. I like that one. Oh, man. Also, I went to, also went to Africa and shot a lion. Is that cool? <laughs> hey, whatever you want, Bush. You got the money. Oh, but yeah, Trump, man, fucking crazy. Well, all right. Here's the thing about like how stupid the people are that goes to these things. And maybe it's just the Republican fan base. I don't know. I'm sure the Democrats are stupid. It's like I want to say that the Democrats like have their like, you know, they do the same things Republicans do. I'll just say it. But I still feel the Democratic side more. I agree more with the Democrats. Yeah. But looking at the two groups of people. I think they're all probably equally stupid. It's just that I happen to agree a little bit more with one side than the other. For sure. Like, I remember, I correct me if I'm wrong, I only saw 10 minutes of, like, the debate. Then I was like, well, my data plan's going to get pretty used up. But, uh, <laughs> I, like, Trump said something when they talked to, asked him about the question that you could, and he was like, you know, all the fucking media, they twist things around, blah, blah. And then people were clapping, right? <laughs> like, people were clapping. Like, yeah, Trump. yeah, they do. Like, do you not know that you're going to fucking hate this guy in like 10 yeah. minutes like like how are you swayed so easily that I you're like somebody... yeah don't trump and then later you're like no why were you clapping them before like why i don't think well then again most of if you think about it, most of the voters well this is a great point with uh the legalization of marijuana why it was taking so long and how it keeps always getting shot down and everything that i'm like because all the stoners are too stoned to go to the polls and vote <laughs> yeah, yeah. and they're like well, yeah, hey, well, why did it happen man because all the old people are like well i'm out and i don't want pot in my house so fuck it you know it's like that's the problem it's like no everyone's like yeah we want it to happen but we're not gonna well, do i mean yeah it that's the best thing like i mean it's really everyone can pl- complain about politicians and stuff but really our politicians are i mean there's yeah there's rich people who are in power to some extent and they control everything, but it's it's really like their politicians are reflective of the people, and yeah. it's like really us being lazy mm-hmm. and electing Ted Cruz and like all yeah. these dumbass people to like politics. Is there a weirder looking guy running for president this year? 
he he gets really into what he says, and then he just goes back into his like sour face or so, whatever he does. And then, but it's it's he's not just the sour nose. face. I'm like, like you're Mexican, his, but born in Canada. He's got, like, Get the this fuck out of here. Weird shape to his face, and then like especially we're, we're in profile. Have you seen him in profile? And everything will be good. It ain't yeah. right. Yeah. But and then like you don't want to look talk. at him straight on because of the ears, but if you look at him profile, it's even worse. So I'm like. There's no, there's no good way to look at this guy. He's a funny looking dude. Fucking Rampa looks like a fucking Q-tip or something. <laughs> I don't even know. They all look weird except Ben Carson because he's black and he looks. And the, the ones of... that look normal, you probably don't even know their names. Like I, like the debate started. And I'm like looking. I'm like, there's like 25 fucking people on this stage. Like, who are these people? I know three names. They're like, well, half of them we just pulled out on the street and gave them suits. We really didn't know. There was one guy like. Right. I, Totally, they they had his name on the screen. And I still can't remember it. Was he it was the, a totally normal looking dude. He looked like he was maybe twenty two years old. <laughs> he was just in there, like totally normal oh, Marco looking Rubio. dude. Yeah, probably. He's, and he was sitting there, and they good. asked him a question, and he had this look on his face, like, "Did you just talk to me in English? I don't even like." The look on his face was like, "Not only do I not know the answer to the question, I don't know what the fucking question was." <laughs> like he was just so perplexed, and I was like. So I was guy's be insulted not insulted as like one of the like actual more respectable in quotation marks, you know, Rand Paul, Marco Rubio, Chris Christie, people who go up there and then and they're 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 doing like this like job interview. They're like competing for a job. Yeah. And then there's Donald Trump. Like that just yeah. undermines the whole political process, everything <laughs> that he even got this far. Because that's like me going to a job interview and then a retarded person is just like Donald Trump is I like take a- directions. Yeah. Donald Trump's kind of like the political I, Kanye I West. Pay with like he just jumps in there out of nowhere. Be like, hey, everybody, let's talk about me for a minute. Fuck Taylor Swift. You're <laughs> fired. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kanye West comes up. Look, I'm going to let you guys debate, <laughs> but I'm, I'm going to let you say <laughs> the dick pic currency is going to happen. Ooh. <laughs> And mine's going to be worth the most. Jesus. Beyonce is the greatest <laughs> of all time, but Jay-Z's got the best dick. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to let the silence Good, get no. on that one. Let's wait for you to like, do we the silence. We got an app for that. Yeah, we, <laughs> That's going to be the quotation for this episode. Mark says, Jay-Z's got the best dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't quote the whole... Oh, <laughs> oh, damn it. Put up the things that's that what, Eric That's what say. happens in the political arena. Once you throw your dick out there, the pics go anywhere, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that saying now. <laughs> Once you throw the dick out there, the pigs go anywhere. Uh, Makes no fucking sense, but I, I love it. We'll, we're, we'll run with it. Right? We'll make that a new t-shirt on socially. Out All there. right. <laughs> Where did it work? We'll put it on a water bottle. and Go to fern.spreadshirt.com. And then peel it off and discuss two years later. Well, now you can actually buy a water bottle with our current Four-Eyed Radio logo on it at fern.spreadshirt.com. What? Oh. <laughs> Tell me <laughs> more. Like, what, really? How do I get to that page? Well, you go to HTTP, which stands for Hyperchecks Transfer Protocol, colon, that's the two dots. So anybody listening, forward slash, that's the one that goes top right, bottom left, guys. Two of those. You're taking too long. I know. I'm done. <laughs> do you want to take a little bit of a break and then? Um, well, yeah, we're, what are, how late are we going to go? I don't know. That's up to you guys. We, we started a little late, but I mean, it's 10 minutes to our normal finish time right now. I mean, do so we need to take we a break? Should we wrap it up? I mean, we can talk. We can I take mean, like talk for the next remainder and just then. Yeah, why not? Why okay. don't we? Why don't we? Don't you're going to edit this, take, right? Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of oh. course. Um, you guys, I want a computer in so front of my face. Hold your phone up and like just, <laughs> just, just, just like pretend. just click it and doing shit and stuff like that. Uh, no, like, yeah, we, well, we just put this up for uh, Eric likes to read off the show notes and everything like that. Oh He's yeah, I was going to. Uh, I, I suppose I could tell people where to find us online. Uh, you can. I, I'll do that. You know what? You, why don't you check us out online? We're at socially awkward. Is this the first episode of a podcast? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just like, yeah, let's do this. You can find us at sociallyawkwardstudios.com, foredradio.com. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Spreaker, iTunes, Stitcher, the Zoom Marketplace, Blackberry Podcast Directory, the Blueberry Directory, Mirror Guide, Pod Directory. dot com, Double Twist YouTube, Swell Radio, SoundCloud, and Player. dot fm. Holy no shit. excuses. Fucking find us. Yeah, he likes to do that. I literally <laughs> thought there was three things to put a podcast up online. I didn't know there was. Well, that let me just say, welcome to the family, then. <laughs> Holy shit. That's all those things you're going to be on now. Sp- Maybe I've heard Spreaker. There was... Spreaker's what we're, what we're broadcasting on right now. That's the one we use for our live broadcast, and then we also broadcast all the recorded shows on it. 
Um, iTunes and Stitcher are obviously the big ones. And then, of course, we've got the RSS feeds up and everything. But, yeah, there's people that use Make the, room for your available storage for Talk Ramen, you guys. Yeah, Talk Ramen. They already have. How many episodes do you have out right now? You have 30. 32. That's what I thought. 32. Where, 32. where can people find you right now? You can find us. Yeah, plug away. Okay, well, you can find us about You can like our page on Facebook. Just type in Talk Ramen into the search box. You can follow us on Twitter at talk underscore ramen. Uh, and then you can listen to us on uh, iTunes, Stitcher, and Podbean. And uh, sometimes YouTube. If uh, You know, YouTube is very underplayed. Nobody puts shit on YouTube. You guys don't put shit on YouTube? We just have recordings on YouTube. We haven't uh, <clears throat> we haven't put any skits or anything like that kind of stuff on. Oh, it. you guys do skits? Well, I like to do skits. These guys don't help me out at all. See, <laughs> you're the Mark Silverstein of uh, social. Yeah, we're okay. Not talking shit yeah. about you guys, Aaron Kyle Miles, or Greg all of our Snyder. audio podcasts are broadcast on YouTube as well. There's just no video to them, but the audio is there. I would like to talk about uh, this little thing I'm doing. I'm trying to. I'm. I, I'm doing this thing with uh, fellow comedian Michael Palladino. It's called Race to 20. Mm -hmm. And basically what we're trying to do is we're skinny people. Um, I used to be a little bit like I've been I went to the doctor I was like 168. I take a lot of Adderall and I work a uh, a walking job. I walk a lot, lose weight, whatever. I'm down to where I am and we're trying to gain 20 pounds. So basically it's just a friendly competition. I don't have anything to plug to like of where to go to. We're still trying to like figure everything out, make pages and stuff like that. But that's what we're doing. Have you guys ever tried to gain weight? No, because I'm trying to lose weight. Same with Aaron yeah. as well. So I'm like, I've, I've, I've gained weight. I mean, I've done it. I wasn't trying. <laughs> now, time, now, is there like, what I'm curious about is there rules to the game, like how you have to gain the weight or is it just like, eh, I can do whatever I it's want. It's a gentleman's game, if you will. Um, we're, uh, just kind of like posting our results online on Facebook. Just add me, Mark Allen Silver. No, just Mark Silverstein. But if you wanted to, you can follow me on Twitter at Mark Allen Silver. Uh, <laughs> but we're just posting our stuff online, getting a lot of feedback from like the comedy community and stuff like that. People are following us and like asking us to do stuff. But uh, it, we're just posting like I don't know. I'm not gonna lie about how many. I'll, I'll post. I like make posters of how many calories and like what I ate mm -hmm. all day, and then I'll like post it on Facebook and I'll make videos and we'll like taunt each other and stuff like that. <laughs> so it's pretty much just like at our own merit that we're like being honest of like how much weight we're like adding on each day or whatever. okay. And how long is the 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 competition going? Is it just for like yeah? Like, like I don't know. Like I kind of wanted to do something where it's like a set like. 30 day thing so that we're, I kind of wanted to start a podcast so we could do a few episodes and like have a complete thing but I don't know I think we're just going to continue it just for Let's however see. long it goes. It goes. Oh okay. And so hopefully we just stay enthusiastic about it and keep eating our asses off. Um, today I kind of slacked off a little bit I'll tell you. Get my podcast gear stolen. Just maybe one of the smoke cigarettes and just like listen to Madonna and just not do anything all day. So I'm a little low. I had some chicken Parmesan. I made it. Ooh. I made chicken Parmesan. So I'm a little late. Made it for my girlfriend. Okay. Hey, no, made some chicken Parmesan and uh, probably going to devour some of that before I get home. But before that, I'm probably going to get a Big Mac for some easy calories. I need about 1,000. Yeah. I need about like 1,200 more calories. Skip the Big before. Mac. Just go straight for the fries. Get like two large fries. Yeah. Not only do you get the the calories from everything, <laughs> you also get the sodium, which will help you retain water weight, and you get the the starch of the potatoes. So you're like triple whammy. This guy's right an there. expert on keeping weight on, <laughs> but he can't do a push up. It's a no wonder, you guys. I used to be able to not do. Oh no! Yeah, we can do push ups. I can, like I can do push ups now. How many? Um, I I finally started actually testing myself to see how many I could do in one go, and I was able to do thirty three. Which thirty considering a month ago I could not do one. That's that's pretty big. That's not a lot. I know. I feel like you're about a month away from a YouTube video of like, hi, I'm Eric <laughs> Dewey. <laughs> ah, I used to do you like learn you. how to do push ups. <laughs> I will teach you. See, these are videos we can put on the YouTube page. <laughs> I'll be like, here's what you do. You get down on the ground, you, you fucking push yourself up. No, what you should fucking do it. That's how you, you do it. No, it's a what you should do it. How every single one is like, hi, I'm Eric Dewey, and it's literally. You keep turning, so like, the, so the camera everywhere, has to keep everywhere I go. <laughs> everywhere I go, I'm not looking at the camera. Hi, I'm Eric Dewey, and then like, 
All of a sudden, you're over here. Yeah, the camera. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh I'm the I'm camera around. Like, Hi, I'm Eric Huey. Then when you turn, it's like then you have to keep turning your head to say every <laughs> single line. This is how you do a push up. <laughs> You go down kind of thing. Did Shannon Accounting <laughs> challenge you to a weight loss competition? Well, fuck her because you're going to follow my steps. And in 30 days, you're going to go from one push-up to 33 fucking push-ups. And you're going to fuck Sharon. You're going to fuck her. Okay, we're not doing yeah. You're going to fuck her so good. Wait, what? Wait, you're wait. going to fuck her so hard you're going to find yourself in HR talking about how hard you fucked Sharon. That's yeah. where you're going to be. We're not broadcasting this, are we? <laughs> She what? she said it was good, right? Yeah. She said she she got my dick pic, right? Yeah. yeah. She, yeah. she said it was okay, right? She said she felt violated. That, that's a compliment, right? Yeah. Right? 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 Violated. Yeah, I mean, that's worth that's a pretty day. strong word. I'm thinking that means I'm pretty strong. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd say mildly irritated. She said the violated. Right? After, yeah. But after you're done, high five, Craig. High five. <laughs> after you're done with the video, they're like, next week, how to get out of a lawsuit. <laughs> I went from law- one lawsuit to 33 lawsuits. <laughs> it's 30 days. It's 30 days. <laughs> Let me and I can you. show you yeah. how. Uh, Let's not do that. Oh. <laughs> See? Every time <laughs> maybe a creative idea you know gets shot down. You know, that seems like a lot of work. And yeah. it's like, I don't like hitting play button and the stop button. And it's like, then you got to hit the record button. button. I don't know. And then you have to like. There's a lot of buttons. There really are a lot of buttons. I just like the podcast. It's podcast easy. really is the laziest uh, yeah. creative thing to do. You can make videos, you do it, but podcast is just record, stop. If you want to edit it, like, yeah, that's yeah. a lot of people always say that. Like people ask me, like, do you edit your podcast? I'm like, fuck no. What? No. What's edit? I mean, like, yeah, if somebody at the beginning says of a they show, don't want in there, I'll do it. But yeah, at the beginning of a show, when you when you're first starting up, you do a lot more edits, and then as you get in the groove. You find you don't need to do as many edits because you, you're in the groove. Like it's pretty much said. just if it's a long podcast. Uh, well, so for me, it's the beginning. I want to start off kind of stronger. Don't want it to be like you know lo- a lull. Mm-hmm. So in case it's like new people listening, and then it's like if it's a really long podcast, then it's kind of like well, I want to keep it to around an hour or something. So I'll I'll chop things to shorten it down. Unless it was all amazing, mm-hmm. and then it's like if there's lulls like where it's like there's nobody talking which rarely happens on the talk round podcast we have an amazing uh list of guests always coming on then i'll like cut out a little bit but not too much editing yeah no it really isn't i think the only editing i do now and now it's going to cut down even more because there's that fangle dangle button that eric decided we have we've literally been doing, talked about we've it we've been doing on a podcast panel. we've been doing podcasts okay first off last panel i was like 30 minutes late to that but i'm pretty sure you were there for that what if that button only edited out things that you said probably <laughs> that oh hilarious. that mark Wahlberg impression is gone yeah <laughs> fuck you eric <laughs> um no. what no 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 <laughs> Say hello to your mother for me. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. Mark Wahlberg can fly? Yeah, no, now I want to see that movie. And he can live in space? He's fucking Superman. Do you guys have uh, episode titles? Uh, we. I don't know if we Sometimes I'll throw an episode if something particular stands out. Well, this one's going to be definitely like dick pic currency. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so honored to be on dick pic currency. <laughs> Episode what episode number is uh, it? One hundred and twenty-four. One hundred. How long have you guys been doing this for? A couple of years now. Three years. Three, three years. Fucking three years. It this show. Been. Well, especially. I mean, yes. we've been doing podcasting. Two years. Okay. Well, we've been doing podcasting for four years. <laughs> but yeah, this show's been two years now. So yeah. you guys kind of got into it, like, well, when did like podcasting like really start? Um, well, I got into it when uh, a former friend of ours basically called me up and was like, hey, man, I was thinking about doing a podcast. You want to get in on it? And I was like, yeah, what's a podcast? And because um, he had been he had gotten <laughs> into it from yeah, listening to, pic to Kevin Smith stuff. buddies. <laughs> yeah, he, he had gotten into it from Kevin Smith stuff. He had been listening to Smodcast and whatnot and was like, yeah, I want to do a podcast, too. And uh, so that's that's how it started. That's how I got into it was I, I found out about podcasts by being invited to do one. And then from there, I was like, hey, this is pretty fucking awesome. (laughs) Well, this is actually quite fun. That's fantastic. And you? Yeah, they actually invited me on to be a guest on their show. It was funny. They're like, hey, you want to be on our podcast? I go, yeah. And I'm like, what the hell's a podcast? Um, You know it. 
What's that? Yeah, I didn't know <laughs> what it was. And then, yeah, then uh, they asked me, he's like, hey, do you want to co-host with us? So I was like, okay, yeah. And then that worked. And then it's like, well, and obviously. two years later, they asked Eric to do the same. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. It happens. But yeah, and then, yeah, basically we were starting the huge network with the other guy uh, who left the show, and then we reformatted everything. So it was just like, kind of like what happened to you today when you got everything stolen that happened to us. He took all the Except equipment. Except we knew exactly who took it. <laughs> so, yeah. Was it was it Harry Steve? It was Harry Steve. Uh, dude, I, just, Harry uh, dude Steve, I was man. in a Pizza Metro. Got to give a shout out to them. They are a delicious uh, pizza and pasta place. Um, Amazing! Uh, it's on. That'll Thomas. be good for your, your quest to twenty. Race to twenty. Sorry. Oh, I'm maybe they're your sponsors. Power. Yeah. Oh, that would be fantastic. But like, I was in there just eating a fucking pasta, and uh, like some homeless guy. Because there's a lot of homeless people where I live. I live in a really shitty part of town, and uh, like homeless guy walked in there with like a camera or something. Like, can oh. I try this for a pizza? And then like, I'm th- that's and the guy that- said, it depends on their dick pics on it. <laughs> <laughs> So that could give you a that could give you a large or an extra large. <laughs> yeah, it's like I'm, that guy's going in with all my fucking my mixer and my yeah. mics. I have one mic that I had in my backpack. That okay, whatever. I still have that. But just going in there, like, can I get like a large separita pizza? And they're just like, no, because they didn't send out to the other guy. So I don't know. I'm probably just gonna forget about. I'm just gonna erase my memory. And forget I ever had a podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to be the easiest thing. That's the easiest thing to do. No, it was a workout. I say get the word out. Maybe someone will see something. You never know. Good things happen to. I, I go to Pawn Stars. Pawn Stars. Porn Stars. Pawn Shops. I go to Porn Sites too. Pawn wait, shops. What? wait, what are we talking about? <laughs> I go to Pawn Shops and like see if anybody like brought it there. Yeah. Because I file a police report. So as long as I bring yeah. it there, do I get the shit back for free? Actually, yeah, because technically. And any- if so, I'm going to do that every fucking week and just pocket the money. <laughs> yeah. <like, laughs> Well, I think because they have they have to check everything. Because uh, even when I trade well, in take stuff, like, to a, if you take something to a pawn shop to sell or pawn, you have to give ID and so yeah. they have your name associated with it. So if it does come back stolen, like they're like, oh well, yes, officer, this was yeah. turned in here, and here's the name, address, phone number, and picture of the person who brought this in here to sell this to us. So yeah, so they do keep upon track a few of that. things. In my yeah, because that happened to me, uh, like when I would trade in some stuff like gaming consoles and things like that. They'd be like, "Is this yours?" I'd be like, "Yeah, what the." So okay, so like, um, be like it's nine tenths mine. If you know that, what I mean, yeah, wink, wink, wink. Kind of like tracked and everything like that. Yeah, like they sh- they will write down they'll write down all the serial numbers and everything that when they when they bring it into the pond thing, but they Fuck, will get I that. I didn't have any serial numbers, but like no, no. no but I'm report? saying is uh, if you report it or whatnot, the police report you have all that. Basically, what they have to do is they have to track the. Uh, the guy who, if they traded into some place to sell it like that, they would have their identification, stuff of like that. So then all of a sudden, if they're going through stuff and they're going, oh, wait, there was a police report filed about this kind of thing. But you would have to, he would have had to have the serial number to put on the police report in order for them to catch that is the problem. Um, oh, I need the serial we number. We probably should take note of the speaking of. We should probably take note of the yeah, serial number. That's a good idea. No, just shit. fucking leave it. Yeah, just go fuck, fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, no. So you don't get months, to, you you don't get to win when I lost. No, fuck that. Fuck that. Um, and yeah. that is the same exact mixer that I have. It's just like a, it's a b- little bit better version. It's, it's more mics. It's looking really pretty right now. Oh my god, the Behringers are good, good boards. We like them. When it came to the the mixer, I just I, I went for something. I was like, well, that looks cool. All right, I'll buy that. Well, that's true. We bust out laughing. The original one that we bought before, like in the old setup, like everything we bought caught us what, like eight hundred bucks to get everything. It was ridiculous. It, like it was ridiculous. Well, that's because Hydra. somebody, neither one of us, couldn't wait for two fucking days for Amazon to ship us stuff. No, we had to have it right now, right now, yeah, right now. Yeah, he wanted everything right now, and then after so we had to he, go to he stole all Best this. Best Buy. Well, this is what I love. He stole what all. What kind this. of mics are these? These are uh, uh, where'd you where'd you pick these? Ones? Well, the these Amazon? ones are yeah. These are uh, these, oh, these are actually are, the same as the board. They're um, yeah, Behringers. 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 Yeah, they actually come in a nice little bo- like a case to carry them. Three mics in it. I have some um, uh, Monoprice mics at home that work fantastic too. So, um, so when you're looking for your cables on Monoprice. But yeah, no, he yeah. stole the one board and everything, that, and then we went and got all the equipment that we basically got. What our first starter set because we've added on and everything like that. But when we got the board and everything else that we needed, we only spent like four hundred dollars. So we yeah. spent half of what he spent just because we ordered everything from Amazon. Yeah, and we got we got better stuff yeah. too. We got this board here, which is the twenty-two input or the twelve input, whatever, and <clears throat> it works fucking fantastic. It's got like special effects and shit on there. Hold on. I mean, no, they do it. Can, can, can you guys stop reminding me of what my board has? Like, <laughs> it got special effects, but you were too dumb to ever figure it out. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. I don't uh, know we always screw here. that up. What special effects does it have? I don't know. Let me let me see what I got here. Let's see here. Uh, does it just have somebody that does? Did you turn the effects thing up? Yeah, what? No. Let me see. Does this is this doing anything? No. I thought. Hello. There it is. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is when we used to do uh, God with that. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right, Steve. It's me, God again. Do you believe in me yet? I thought you were fictional. Oh, damn it. That always happens to me. Why does mom always have cum between her legs? Okay, that's... <laughs> wow. That was, that, was, that was weird. <laughs> it, hey, how come this doesn't do It finally do hit a, across the boundary. Oh, well. Anyways. We, 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 we've used the, the special effects on a there. Few like, and then we forget twice. about it. And then when we start... Then, then, like, hey, then we have board. people come on the show that talk about their board that was stolen. And then we remember like, all the oh, stuff. Oh, look at that. that. Every <laughs> fucking time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, anyways, so, so you guys, uh, you, you got anything else you want to plug before we wrap it up for the evening? Uh, I will. Want, oh, is no, I was just gonna say I got. I will I, say I, I do want to plug at least one show they have coming up uh, would be the Snap Battles, and it's going to be August sixteenth at Tempe Improv. And are you guys aware of what Snap Battles is? I've heard about it because Kevin Elliott's talked about it. Yeah, fuck Kevin Elliott. But uh, oh. no, I'm just kidding. I love Kevin Elliott. <laughs> uh, but Snap yeah, Battles fuck that is Kevin Elliott guy that you can um, listen to every Sunday right here on the Four Eyed Radio Network on appropriately inappropriate. <laughs> fuck him. I was a guest. It was <laughs> check out that episode. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a really cool like competition of Phoenix comedians, and they go up like head to head. You get know, a minute each to insult people. It's like a bracketed competition. Oh, cool! And hopefully. Uh, at the end of the night, there comes a snap battle champion. So Ooh. that's a Tempe Improv. Oh. So okay, well, Check if you're out. actually August 16th, maybe since, it's seven o'clock. Well, since you guys have joined the network and everything like that, we could probably post that up on our Facebook page and let people know about it. Sweet. We, I always like to support the local comedy stuff. So, especially you're going to become one now. Hopefully, I don't hey, know. get back out there. Do it. Yeah, do do it. it. Just take it. And do it! <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Off of the space. <laughs> Say hi to your mother. Say hi to your mother for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's turning into like an Asian, like, I know. Mark- what? No. No. What? no. Say hi to your mother for me. The number 68. I fought Transformers. <laughs> Did you do what? <laughs> <laughs> I fucked Transformers <laughs> in front of your mom. Yeah, she's My time zone's kind of different. <laughs> My Wait, are you, be playing, are you playing a Transformers song? No, it's just random epic. It's, this uh, is supposedly epic music. I'm like, this is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm just putting in something in the background while we while we wrap. Sam with Wiki. I don't know. Uh, we have anything else to plug? Um, no, no. Check out the new channel on the Four Eyed Radio Network, The Syndicate. That's all of our uh, syndicated shows, all the shows like Talk Ramen that are uh, previously established with their own iTunes and Stitcher feeds and whatnot. And uh, we're kind of rebroadcasting their content on our network as well to so kind of uh, double up that distribution for you guys and uh, bring a little bit more content onto the network as well. So check that out. You can find that if you go to uh, foureyedradio.com and then uh, look at those look at those links on there and you'll see the syndicate there which will be all our syndicated shows and like you know follow us on twitter and facebook and whatnot yeah do it i like this music it's pretty epic isn't it in a world <laughs> where a podcast <laughs> comes down to another podcast <laughs> and dick pics are traded for currency when women chop off dicks and their pics whoa what I got no dark. Mark Wahlberg is <laughs> Dick Pick in Space. Say hi to your mother for me. Tap that sex. All right, well, I guess that'll do it for tonight. Uh, until next week, folks, why don't you just go ahead and. What? No, tap that sass. Oh. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, folks, do it. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Fuck, Fuck this shit, I'm out. out. No, no, don't mind me. me. I'ma I'm just grab, grab my stuff and leave. Excuse me, please. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Nope. Fuck this shit, I'm out. All right then. I don't know what the fuck just happened, but I don't really care. I'ma get the fuck up out of here. Fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs>